All right, ready? Ready. All right. Take two. Take two. Thank you for turning it for to uh <laughs> Nope. Take two. Do it again. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to us be these guys. My name is Carl and this is my best friend J Man. How's everybody doing out there in uh, YouTube land? I'm uh, J-Man, and this is my broski, Carl. Yeah. So we are starting a new YouTube series uh, called Us Be These Guys. And for those who don't know what Us Be means uh, or how to spell Us Be, so it's U-S-P-I. So everybody should know what Us Be means now or how to spell it. So Us Be means pretty much like, oh, my gosh, or like, Oh, oh Lord, or like, oh, oh Lord, <laughs> or, or like, oh wow, or like, uh, like what language in, is that? Is that Spanish? <laughs> no, it's not Spanish. Is it German? It's not just not German. Although the when I put it into like that uh, Siri thing, uh -huh. it gave me like Scandinavian, language, <laughs> <laughs> which means like a fish, some sort of fish. <laughs> but no, we're from a small ability or small. Um, uh, how would you say it? A, a small, small tribe. Small tribe. <laughs> <laughs> a small tribe called Hopi. And this is the Hopi tribe here. So, or some academics would call it a small tribal nation. Yeah, a tri tribal nation. If you want to get a little fancy we with the live, vernacular there. We live, on a, we live on the reservation. So And so we're two Hopi guys. And, you know, some of you might know us from this other podcast that we do called The Carl and J-Man Save the World podcast. Oh, yeah. And so this video series is a way to expand upon the CJ podcast brand and to try to uh, juice up our numbers on our YouTube channel, in which you can find all of our podcast episodes on the YouTube channel. And then uh, we figure that when people listen to us talk and basically talk out of their our asses, that in their head they're probably thinking – us be these guys. <laughs> so that's like an expression of uh, saying like, oh, God. Oh, yeah, my gosh. Oh these my guys. guys. <laughs> it's these guys again. And, and, <laughs> these and idiots again. Every time that I'm out in public and everything and uh, I, I see one of our, our people that do listen to the podcast, especially when I'm at the store, you know, it's like, us be this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like, hey, I like your podcast. But this guy, us be this guy. Us be this guy. <laughs> so, the, the, I guess it's, it's an expression. I mean, yeah, the yeah. word means something, but it's kind of an expression. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you kind of say it when somebody is saying something, I guess that's kind of beyond the limits in yeah. a way. And yeah. So it's like, us be this guy. <laughs> and so, you know, we figure that that's probably a strong reaction that we get from the podcast. Yeah. But, you know, this video series is something that we want to do that differentiates from the podcast. Oh, yes. Yeah. It, that we want to cover things that we don't talk about the podcast because I think with the podcast, we have it structured in a certain way. And so this video series will definitely structure it. Differently, right? Carl? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's not going to be a normal podcast kind of thing. We'll be doing a lot of reviews on different products along the way. We'll be doing a lot of uh, like narratives and stuff. And then we'll, we'll be talking about uh, different issues along the way, like real world issues or current topics. Very contemporary yeah. topics. And so I think at least, well, I, I guess I could say this so that, you know, just to help contextualize what we're talking about. But like with the podcast, the way that it's structured, it talks about kind of more about things in the past oh, yeah. or, you know, kind of yeah. these real larger um, issues that our tribe and other tribes, native people go through in general. But I think for, for this video series, like Carl said, we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about things that are still relevant to Hopi, still relevant to uh, Indian country, but uh, more contemporary. So, you know, kind of talking about things that we don't talk in the podcast, just so that it's, we're, we're not repeating ourselves or so that, you know, this kind of conversation is irrelevant to the podcast. Yeah. So today's topic what we're going to be talking about is going to be talking about COVID. COVID-19. COVID-19. Oh COVID COVID well, how do you spell it uh, from here? COVID-19. And, you know, it, it, this is kind of an interesting topic because it is something that we made a rule with the podcast. Like, we're not going to talk about COVID. Yeah. We're, we're not going to talk about the pandemic because we've gotten a lot of responses from listeners saying that, you know, they like our podcast because we're goofy. We talk a lot of shit. And the fact that... Um, we 
uh, bring joy to their life. And so, you know, we decided that, hey, let's not talk about this heavy topic of COVID. And so, you know, not to uh, bring any type of disheartening things to their to, to the podcast. But with this <laughs> video series, I guess we kind of really wanted to break those podcast rules and talk about things that are relevant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So so sit back and relax as we uh, as, as you listen to us or watch us, my beautiful face and this full year <laughs> as we I, talk to you about COVID. So. I always told Carl he had a face for podcasting <laughs> and he figured out how to bring his face to you all. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I tried to stop him. My face is one of the most nicest face everybody has wants pretty much all the guys want to have my face and just the tip for the listeners nobody actually says that to him it's his soul that tells him <laughs> so still thinks i'm cool <laughs> we we actually do have merchandise um and we'll, we'll be talking about the different merchandise throughout the the podcast as well too so throughout our, our video video series. pretty much we're trying to make this separate from the podcast i know pretty much <laughs> so, so let's let's go ahead and jump right in with this covid thing that's happening so Man, it's crazy, this whole COVID thing that has been going on. How has it impacted you directly? It, it's stressful for me. It's it's giving me a lot of anxiety right now. Why is that? It's because not knowing if I'm going to get it or not, pretty much. And it's like that, how am I going to protect like soul? Or oh, body? yeah. And that's very, very stressful. And I'm pretty sure that everybody out there has the same ordeal, what, what I'm going through as mm -hmm. well, too. And... It's it's not necessarily impacting me on like the the financial side because we're we're pretty much content where we're at. Yeah, but I guess it's just the the mindset or the the whole the whole um, the whole structure of how this is being run mm -hmm. through the mm -hmm. Hopi government. Mm -hmm. It's it's different. I think it's different when you talk about COVID and it's different when you talk about the pandemic when you're discussing it within specifically to the reservation, yeah. specifically yeah. to the tribe, because like you can still go to like Phoenix, you can still go to Flagstaff and you can go eat at your favorite restaurant oh, yeah. still. Yeah. Um, you can still go shop at the mm -hmm. malls, but out here, a lot of things are closed down. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the K-Town store only allows so many people in at a yeah. time. Yeah. And before you go in, they make you wear gloves. You have to have your masks on. So you got to wait in line before you can get into the store. And then when you actually get into the store, you got to wear gloves. You got to wear masks because they're trying to protect people from the spread of the of the, um, the of virus. virus. Yeah. And then now with the tribe instituted this uh, lockdown. Yeah. So technically, you know, you're nobody's really supposed to be driving around <laughs> and um, going places. And so that's something that they've in instituted now. And then I, I do live in Tuba. I live on the Navajo side. So we can go on to the Navajo side on their reservation that um, there's a curfew. I think it's at 8 o'clock now, 8 p.m. Everybody is supposed yeah. to be off the streets. Yeah, Hopi, Hopi has and, that curfew. Too. And um, a lot of their businesses is the same, that there's only X amount of people allowed to be inside the store at a time. So a lot of times you have to wait in line to get into a store. And, of course, you have to be wearing your uh, masks. And uh, But I think that, you know, it has caused a lot of fear for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the, you know, the whole idea of, of this virus here, it's it's taking a huge toll on all of our psyche. Mm -hmm. and, all of, mm -hmm. and it's becoming to where we're not, we're not seeing each other like how we used to see back in 2018. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Especially if you're a family, like yeah. my family, we have... We have uh, big gatherings for the smallest of things, like everybody's birthday party. The family gets together, myself and my mom and all her sisters and my tha and all the other relatives, all the cousins and everything like that. But now it's it's been a while. It's probably been uh, probably close to nine months since I've seen everybody all together at the same time. Yeah. So, I mean, it's 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 more or less just uh, putting us down. To where we don't want to be mm -hmm, so it, mm -hmm. it's and it, it's taking a lot of out of us more than what we've we've seen or accomplished yeah. through our lives so. do you remember the beginning when this all started were you a part of the uh scare shopping because i remember like you would go to the grocery stores and all the pasta's gone yeah all of the beans are gone all the toilet paper is gone and so it's like we we got lucky because i think right before all the scare sh shopping 
started that we bought one of those big ass packages from uh, Sam's Club. Yeah. And so we were sitting on that and actually kept this uh, good for a while. We didn't have to resort to <laughs> what some other people have probably had to do, go to the clinics using your tissues <laughs> and then that runs out and then you're you going back to the traditional ways and then using uh, that corn, silver, cobs, <laughs> corn cobs corn and rocks. cobs and rocks <laughs> so i i have a, a subscription uh through who gives a crap and it's a toilet com <laughs> toilet paper company and uh i'll put a graphic right here and it's it's and we're not sponsored. And by we're not sponsored by it. But if you guys are going to sponsor us, who gives a crap? Call us. Call us. Call us right immediately. Who gives a crap dot com. I love your toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's a subscription that we that we get and we get it every three months. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, Soul mm -hmm. said that we have too much toilet paper. <laughs> and this was before every pandemic, pandemic started. And so why don't we just uh, stop our subscription for uh -huh. a bit? And so dumb me is like, yeah, you know, guys, crapper guys, uh, <laughs> you know, let's, uh, can I just cancel it for a bit? <laughs> I appreciate I your soft you. tissue. <laughs> but we're, you know, My we're good. My has never felt so <laughs> smooth before. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and stop it for a while. Click. And then, and then after that, then the news are like, buy toilet paper, it's going to run out. And then we're like, crap. Literally, <laughs> we're crap. like, crap. Who it gives is, a, it, like, who gives a crap? <laughs> but it's funny though, because I mean, you know, like I, you want to look at the glass half full, yeah. you know, just to keep some sanity. And I think that is kind of something because I didn't know that either. And I think a lot of people didn't know that it's like, what if our toilet paper does run out? Yeah. So oh, what did you guys used to use back in the day? You know, and, uh, oh, it was the Robux book from Sears. <laughs> but I was like, but there's no more, there's no more Robux books. <laughs> and so you got a history lesson in the history of toilet paper <laughs> and or the history of what people used to use to wipe their goodies on the yeah. reservation. Yeah, because someone was saying that they used to wipe their goodies with uh, sum, yeah, with corn cobs. and that's what I heard too. And, <laughs> I'm like, God damn, that's going to be rough on you. And then you also hear too that there was a specific can that you sh shook hands oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then there was a, you didn't touch a person's, I don't care if their left hand or something yeah. like that. Because basically the left hand is what they use to wipe their butts. <laughs> and so you have to shake somebody with the, the clean hand, I guess. So I'm glad for COVID because now we just uh, elbow bump <laughs> each other. <laughs> and we got a <laughs> deep lesson in history of uh, toilet paper, what people use to wipe their goodies with. <laughs> so, I mean, the, you know, it, it's no laughing matter of what this COVID is. And it's no laughing. I mean, at the beginning of it, it was like, oh, yeah, you know, Hopi has gone through some sort of pandemic in the, in mm -hmm, the past, mm -hmm. like with swine flu. Swine flu or swine smallpox. Swine flu or smallpox. But it, it, it was to where it was like, okay, yeah. We can handle it. We can. We we're learning from our mistakes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but we haven't even learned from our mistakes. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're still hanging out with each other. Yeah, we're still congregating, and you know, we're still doing things that we probably shouldn't be doing. <laughs> we're, we're we're social creatures. We I mean, are. We are. So we are. are like one of the most social people. Even so, you know, even though she doesn't want visitors around, she's like, I want to go to my sister's house, and I'm like, No, so they, you know, they're. You know, they might be sick and, you know, like, okay, well, I, you know, I don't want to call because I want to actually see them yeah. in person. And, and I think that's taken a toll on her too, so. <laughs> and so, but yeah, that, that was kind of some of the early recollections. But then also too, I guess if you want to think about like the kind of the contemporary side, that the fact that people have been forced to stay home is that you're probably seeing some of the funniest memes that have ever came out in the history of mankind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, you had all those challenges. Do you remember all those social media challenges that people were doing when the pandemic first started, when people were mandated to stay home? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then so you had the I remember some of the young girls. Uh, I, I think it was a collaboration. Well, the first video that I saw was a collaboration of Pueblo girls. They had that pass the corn challenge. Oh, yeah. Do you remember seeing that? Video? Yeah. Yeah, the, the, where they would pass pass the corn and then they would uh, they, they, they just they, looked normal look, look normal and then they go like this to the camera like this to the camera and then you then they back all and then they're all their on. yeah their nice little attire on and they're like whoa all their regalia yeah and so you know that that that's kind of what this pandemic has created but I think that also too well at least on the positive side on on Hopi it's forced us to use technology. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> because I think that before the pandemic, Kopi was anti-technology. Oh yeah, it was. Even it was. in the places of business. It was, it was really. And because right now, I, I think this is what the media said, is like that we're at that technology divide where, mm -hmm. you know, urban part of it has all of the technology that they ever wanted and they, they give me all these opportunities. But then you have these rural communities out here uh, or i.e. like the villages out here, mm -hmm. the, the reservation out here. We have nothing like that. We still, you know, we still have like the dial-up, the AOL thing. You know? I've heard that some businesses out here still use typewriters. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're still, we still use typewriters, the ones with the no screen. So we'll put, a, <laughs> put, a graph, put a graphic up there. Put, we'll put a graphic of what a typewriter looks like. We still use the snail mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we still we still write letters to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Pony Express is still working out here too <laughs> on Hopi. Yeah, actually it is. It's uh, what was it? What's the horse's name? Uh, U.S. Grant. Yeah. <laughs> So technic technically, technology never really dies if it's uh, out of sync. It's something that we'll still use out here on Hopi. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So you know, the, you know, yeah. Again, this pandemic is is taking a toll on us, and it's. Today, today still, it's it's to where we want to be happy again. We want to feel mm -hmm. that normalcy again. But in actuality, this is what our world is like now. Oh, definitely. And and seeing it to an end is some people's uh, prerogative and some people's will to do that. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And but but mo but more likely, you know, most of them won't be able to see this to the end. And that's you know that's. That's the sad yeah, that's, that's that's a tough thing. That's a tough thing. And it's changed our society. Yeah. It because does. all of the schools out on Hopi are now all online. Mm -hmm. That a lot of our people are now working from home, utilizing the internet to do yeah. work then. And so when you have all of these students and all of these employees online with a uh, internet service that wasn't great to begin with. That, that stretches that internet service. Oh, yeah. And it kind of makes it abysmal on some days. It does. To where you can't even uh, get the internet to work. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of been a difficult thing, you know, because then you, know, you think about the city that, you know, where internet actually works. Yeah. That you can actually Netflix and chill or watch your favorite shows on Hulu or whatever. But out here, you know, it, it's still an issue to where, you know, the internet, just depending on how it feels the next day, but whether your kid can go to school or not. But I guess we can take this like with a grain of salt as well, too, is that we can see something good happening out from this COVID thing here mm -hmm. is that a lot more people have been getting into self business, like printing oh, yeah. stickers, yeah. Sticker making T-shirts and making King our mugs. mugs, not this mug. here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy that mug. But like, you know, a lot of that. And this was actually made uh, through. Um, a a person, local yeah, a local business person here. So, and we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to purchase something like that, uh, make sure that you you email us, and then we'll go ahead and give you the link to purchase something similar to that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you like what you what you see, or if you like what you hear on there on our podcast, uh, go ahead and give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe to us and everything. And I think it's time for us to head on our our way here. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, it was pretty fast. And I know that it's it's pretty quickly, but we'll be doing a lot more of these episodes um, for weeks to come. So be excited. We'll be doing reviews of different products as well, too. We'll be doing uh, topics, um, like current topics as well we're, we'll be talking about. And we'll just be showing what we, what we really like and what we do here on the reservation. And if this is the first time that you've heard of us, we also have a podcast. Oh, yeah. So go ahead and uh, the information will be uh, posted in the link below. The link's below. And then so you can check out our podcast where we kind of go more in depth with other types of issues um, that have been uh, relevant to the reservation, to our reservation, to other native reservations, Indian country in general. And so, oh, yeah. you know, smash the like button, hit subscribe. We're trying to juice up our numbers for the YouTube channel. And uh, we'll talk again next time. All right. Well, my name is Carl. This is my best friend.